Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a training session with my little pup Cloud here on working on the rear end awareness exercise and utilizing it to work on heel work. So most people either free shape the rear end, well not most people, I don't know what they do these days, but some people free shape the exercise so the dog learns to turn around the object on their own um, as, a, as a thinking game and for their, for their body. Um, and other people will use their body as the cue to turn the dog like this, which is great for the front position. But if you haven't yet worked on the dog just turning for a lure or free shaping the dog turning at your side, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like a new behavior. So along with teaching them to turn in a, a complete circle, I usually like them to be able to happily turn in a complete circle and a little bit more before fading the platform and using the exercise for training things like backwards weaving or um, obedience turns. So one thing to do is start to teach the dog to just follow the lure when you're holding it like this. Good job. And you really want to see a nice smooth back foot movement so that they're not jumping or hopping uh, and their legs are moving nicely, sidestepping. Then when you can get the dog to turn all the way around on the platform easily like that, you can start to hold the treat further away from the dog, especially if you have a very short dog like I do. So I'm gonna hold the treat up here and see if he might think to turn and I can start the movement like this and then move the treat away as he's moving and see if I might get a moment of him moving without the treat. So you can see he's also waving at me. So um, he's trying to figure out what I want. And so what I'm gonna do is continually reinforce him for doing the correct behavior and try to make it so that he doesn't make too many errors. So that's why I keep going back to putting my hand near his face to make sure he knows it's the same behavior. Okay, here we go. He said, what if I jump for it? Good job. And you can see I'm turning with him at my side. So he's already set up so that he's um, next to me because sometimes it's really hard with the dog like this to then try to turn them to being at your side at first. So while he's eating a treat here, after turning like this, whoop, I could just feed him and then get next to him before I then turn him. And some dogs find that much easier. Good job, awesome. And then you do the same behavior on the other side. So I've been getting little handfuls of chicken because he's so small, I'm gonna get another handful. And then after this handful, we'll be done. So I was actually gonna show you the right side, but instead, um, because <laughs> I didn't, anticipate using up the treats, but it's because I'm also talking. I'm going to show you how to fade the, um, the object. So once the dog has warmed up with turning next to you and they're doing it reliably or turning in front of you like this, whoop, and he's not really doing it reliably, but what I can do instead is see how he's reliably turning when I hold the treat in front of his face. I can take away the platform and then I'm going to make it super, super easy. So I'm just going to turn a teeny weeny bit mark and reinforce. So I'm gonna turn him like this. Good job. Remove him from the platform with a treat. Feed him a treat next to me like this and then give a little turn and mark and reinforce. Good. Good job. Good. 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 Turn. Good. Turn. Good. Come on back. And turn. Good. We're almost out of treats, so I will switch with Epic. 
The next step, I'm going to work with Epic, my little chihuahua, who's one year old, and I'm going to fade the treat lure and see if she might offer the behavior as me turning while she's in the heel position to cue the turning. So she does have the cue uh, to turn on a verbal cue when on the platform, and also you can do something like fading the platform with a little non-slip mat that some Border Collie has has bitten a piece out of, but it's the one that Epic likes the most to stand on because it's very uh, sturdy. I tried with something more slippery and she didn't want to have her feet on it. So what I'm going to do is begin by luring her like this, and then I'm going to take my hand away and see if she might offer the same behavior. Now if she was a little skew, I could use the treat to feed her in a nice heel position. So I'm just doing tiny little, okay, so she got skew there, so I could lure her back and feed her nice and straight like that. Good job. So now I'm gonna go back to luring and ask for more, more turns in the heel position. Good job. And then when there's no treat for the next, um, the next repetition, I'm not gonna ask for so much. So when the treat's there, she has to do more. And when there's no treat, she doesn't have to do as much. Awesome. So if you've been turning your dog like this, where their head's out to the side, what can happen is that um, they'll keep their head out to the side when they turn instead of looking up at you or facing forward. So one way to get rid of that is to hold the treat on you and get the dog to learn to turn while looking at you. So first you get the turning like this, and then you add criteria of the dog um, turning and keeping their head facing towards you, which is a different behavior. So, but I think it looks nicer and it, they keep their body straighter. She's like, shut up and train me. Stop talking to them. <laughs> so she did really well, so I'm gonna remove that. Good job. And now do it without. So I'm gonna get her into the nice position over here, whoop, like that. And then I'm gonna pretend to have a treat here and get a little turn. And she said, oh, are we sitting now? Ready? I'm going to have a treat <laughs> and turn her so that she's not sitting. Ready? Turn. Epic. Turn. And I am going in a little circle to prevent her sitting as well because it was easy for her to sit um, when I was standing in the same spot. So here we we're just walking and I could just reinforce her for not sitting because she might think that I'm doing a sitting gesture. Turn, epic turn, turn, it's not working. I need to bring this back. There we go. Turn, good. Epic, turn, good, there we go. So basically she just needed a refresher using the, the prop. Good job. And these treats are really messy, but both my little dogs love them. Good job. Okay, we'll end there because we're out of your treats. Good job. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support my work, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can also become a supporting member of channel Kiko Pup by clicking the join button, which gains you access to an extra video a month that you can find in the community section of my YouTube channel. See you later.